Congestion pricing right around the corner, and some are expressing concerns tonight that the city is not ready to do its part to make it work. And due to um, due to go effect this coming spring, while the cost is meant to get drivers out of their cars, are the incentives there for them to use mass transit or bikes? Arthur Chin is in the newsroom with a breakdown of what the MTA's chairman had to say at a media briefing today. Arthur, uh, right now, maybe, right now, maybe neither. Natasha, Steve, there are two entities to discuss here. There's the MTA, which is run by the state, which says it is ready to. Roll out congestion pricing. And then on the other side, we have the city run by the mayor, whose commitment to getting the streets ready is now being questioned. We are not ready. The streets of New York City are not ready. With congestion pricing just nine months from becoming a reality for New Yorkers, concerns are being expressed tonight that the city itself isn't ready, mainly being far behind schedule when it comes to speeding up bus lanes and expanding their protected bike lane program. The MTA's chairman and CEO, Jano Lieber, says the city has not met its commitment yet. The mayor uh, held a summit a year and a half ago, and I was there, and the announcement was we were going to do 150 miles of bus lanes in his four years. We're, that means like 37, 38. Um, we're not hitting that goal right now. Today we're making an historical announcement. We found this announcement Mayor Adams made a year and a half ago, promising new infrastructure, including bike lanes and bus lanes, which transportation experts say is critically important, as congestion pricing will have tens of thousands of drivers looking to see which new mode of transportation might work better for them. As people move out of cars, it doesn't mean that they're no longer moving. They're still moving, and they need to get from point A to point B. We want them to do that safely um, and expeditiously. So their bus needs to move more than four miles an hour. And Transportation Alternatives tells Fox 5 the city is way behind on installing bike lanes, building 10.7 miles so far this year, despite the city council's legal mandate for 50 miles to be built this year. The city's lack of progress on both bus and bike lanes threatens to lead drivers to choose to stay in their cars, which would defeat the purpose of congestion pricing. Both experts and the MTA are asking the city to get moving. We would like to hear New York City DOT and Mayor Adams actively talk about what their plans are for preparing the streets. The city's DOT got back to us saying it is, quote, deeply committed to the success of congestion pricing and that they're looking at other ways to support it, including its own upcoming Smart Curbs pilot program. But the agency does not directly respond to the MTA's claim and the data from transportation alternatives, saying the city is far behind in its commitments to expand bus and bike lane infrastructure. Steve, Natasha.